And now, a moment of education from Surgication. Not all kids with ear fluid need ear tubes. We tend to think about fluid as being chronic or acute. So after an ear infection, the fluid may be there for four to six weeks. However, if the fluid is staying longer than two months, then we start to think about there being a reason to know if that fluid is causing problems, such as hearing loss, education problems, sometimes balance issues, or that fluid can be causing the repeat infections. So if there's fluid for more than three months, your doctor may recommend to do more testing to help you to understand that, or maybe able to just look in the ears, ask you some questions about how your child is doing, and make a decision about the best next step. Outside of fluid that's been there for three months that's causing hearing concerns or other concerns, we sometimes consider kids to be higher risk. In general, ear tubes are helpful because they help to decrease the risk of hearing loss that can occur during fluid in the ears or during infection. So in kids that have hearing loss, speech delay, developmental delays, or other types of medical problems that may put them at higher risk for things like antibiotic allergies, immunosuppression, or other problems that may make them more likely to have ear infections or have a harder time with treatment, these children may also need ear tubes even if the fluid hasn't been there for three months.